My name is Bartimaeus. I am the son of Timaeus, which is what Bartimaeus means. You will find a copy of my testimony in Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. I would like to tell you my story of how I received my sight. I once was blind, but now I can see. I was sitting on the side of the road one day when I heard a large crowd coming down the road. I asked what all the commotion was. Someone said, that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by with a crowd of people. So I thought to myself, is not this the same man who healed the lady who could not stop herself from bleeding for 12 years? Yeah, 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 I think that's him. Uh, she had issues with blood or, or something like that. Then there was another lady who was bent over for 18 years. And he got her all straightened up. Yes, yes. I wonder if her issues had something to do with domestic violence. I do not know how true it is, but I heard uh, that he fed over 5,000 people with a sack lunch. This man, Jesus, is the one who has performed many miracles. I had to get his attention. Yeah. If all of that is true, I know he can restore my sight. All right. All right. Yeah. So I begin to shout out, Jesus, yeah, yeah. thou son of David. Yes. People begin to tell me to be quiet. when you know what it feels like to be able to see uh, Jesus could be the one and only chance for me to receive my sight back. You see, I lost my sight doing something sinful and foolish stuff. I, I was not about to allow anyone to keep me from this opportunity to regain my sight back. So I got loud. Jesus! Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. You see, I had to ask for mercy because grace wouldn't do it because I was guilty. So I needed mercy. I needed forgiveness for my sin. Uh, grace is giving you what you don't deserve, but mercy is not giving you what you do deserve. And I deserve what I had, blindness, but, but I needed mercy. Have mercy on me, Jesus. I did not fully uh, understand yet, but amen, as I, someone, it, I got quiet all of, a sudden, all of a sudden. I asked, what's going on? What's going on? Somebody said, he heard you making all that noise, and he's calling you to come to him. Amen, amen. I, I heard it pulled off everything that I thought would cause me to trip on my way to Jesus. And, and so I began to walk to him, but something was guiding me. Oh, yeah. The crowd parted like the Red Sea. As I approached Jesus, there was this great presence all around me that I felt. It was like fire that was in my blood. I cannot explain it right now. Then he spoke. It was the voice that shattered all the barriers between himself and me. He asked me, what would you have me to do for you? Without hesitation, I said, as if it was rehearsed, Master, restore my sight. Immediately, my sight returned. And I could see. Amen. 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 I became a follower of Jesus. 
Amen. 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 Jesus had said, my faith healed me. I did not fully understand then, as I do now, what that meant. Because a few months ago, after he healed me, he was dragged away and put on trial for claiming to be the Son of God. They took him from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. He was found guilty of love in the first degree. They beat him bloody, mocked him. Then they nailed him to a cross between two thieves like he was a common criminal. They put nails in his hands and nails in his feet. Then, if that was not bad enough, they pierced him in his side with a spear. He was in so much pain that his heart just busted. That is why the water separated itself from the blood. They took him and they put him in a wild man's tomb. However, I'm here to tell you that only worked for a few days. Because early Sunday morning, he rose with all power in his hand. I told you I understand when he said your faith has made you well. I know I told you my story. But if you can believe his gospel story, you will have your own story to tell. If you can believe that he is the son of God by faith, he can make you well. Yeah. By faith, the same Jesus can heal you. He can feed you. However, most importantly, he will save your soul Amen. from a burning hell. Amen. Today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. For today can be your day of salvation. Amen. I'd like to extend an invitation Amen. to anybody that wants to accept Christ today. Amen. Amen. Today can be your day of salvation. Amen. Today you can get a story to tell for his glory. Feel free to come. Amen.
mom and she was coming for prayer and Sister Willoughby will uh, pray for her. Amen. Amen. Uh, after service. So we thank God for you. Uh, what you, we did not want uh, to forewarn you about the service today because we have some people evaluating uh, the message and we wanted to have a real impact on how they felt. And they've been forewarned, they would have been prepared to think a certain way. Amen. Amen. And so what you received today was Amen. what we call uh, in the ministry an illustrative sermon. Amen. 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 So you just receive the word by illustration. Amen. 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 So we thank God for you today. Uh, most of you might like illustrative sermons. You're getting out of 1215. <laughs> Amen. That's probably the shortest method I have preached since I began ministry. I used to preach five and ten minute sermons, but God have mercy. It probably only took about ten minutes. But anyway, amen, amen. It's, it's about the impact on your heart and about the impact of the word, amen, and the relevance of the word. And some of us hear and listen through different means. Amen. 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 So we thank God for you. Let's get up. Let's go home. We expect to see y'all at 4 o'clock now. Amen. Amen.